So I'm here in Bladensburg National Park. Now Bladensburg National Park is located a little bit south of the town of Winton in uh, Queensland. And this park is great so far. It's just pretty much a desolate desert with really nothing here. Um, the reason I came here is because uh, mainly to do some wildlife photography because there's supposed to be a good population of red kangaroos as well as emus here. So as I was driving into this spot, I already saw some uh, red kangaroos and was able to get an okay image. Uh, no footage, unfortunately, because they were pretty skittish, so they kind of ran away pretty quick. So I think I'm going to spend at least the next day here. I might drive around a bit because there's a few more stops, a few more kilometers down the road. And I'm just going to kind of scout out to see if I can see any emus or kangaroos. And then just kind of really drive around most of the day until later at sunset. If I can find a group of the kangaroos or emus settled down, then I'll get out with my camera. But uh, mainly just driving and taking pictures is what I'm going to do. Just because these animals are used to the cars going by and not so much people walking. So uh, the car is kind of acting as a blind for me, which makes it quite convenient. And it's also very comfortable to shoot in, especially in this uh, 30 degrees Celsius heat. Well, alright, I'm going to get exploring and keep looking for some wildlife. And then sure enough, not even a kilometer down the road, I spotted a red kangaroo. Oh, and he's hopping. Missed him, he hopped away too quick. I might have gotten an image, but just didn't have a view. Now he's resting over there in the shade. I might get my tripod out and try and sneak up on him. And we've got two of them just right in front of me. I think one's a male and one's a female, because the male red kangaroos will be red, while the females will actually be a little bit uh, gray or dark brown. So yeah, I've got a few of them. They're still a bit too far away out there, so I think I'm going to try and sneak a little bit closer and see if I can get some images. Alright, so one of them ran away, it got startled by me, but uh, I think the male is still kind of close, it hasn't fleed yet, it's just taking cover under the shade of some of these trees over there. And it is the middle of the day, so it is very harsh light, but uh, it doesn't really matter in taking these pictures, just because the color is not too vibrant. So even during the day, I don't think the images look too bad. Oh yeah, he's still not getting afraid. He's letting me sneak right up on him. It's just with him in the shade isn't too good. So I wish he would hop out into the sunlight. Dang. I just got pictures of his uh, jumping away from me, unfortunately. When kangaroos are jumping, you want them to kind of be at a 90 degree angle with you. Otherwise, it doesn't turn out as a good picture. Oh yeah, he's way gone now. And so is the other one. I don't see the other one. Well, all right, I'll head back to my car and keep driving around looking for wildlife. So I've been driving for about 20 mile now. Um, maybe not even that much, but I decided to turn around and go back to the spot where I was where I saw the kangaroos Because I didn't see nothing this last uh, about half hour of driving and the roads pretty badly corrugated So it's shaking my poor uh, Subaru to bits almost So I'm gonna kind of head back there and then I'll wait around there till sunset We've got an emu right to the left here. I'm gonna try and get a picture. Oh no, it's running away. I didn't really get a good shot at the emu. He just fled too quick as I uh, kind of drove up and got my camera on, out. But that's all right, I'm sure I'll see plenty more. And he was like in kind of thick grass, so my camera couldn't even find focus on him. But I still think I got an okay shot, even though it's all out of focus, it still shows the silhouette of the emu. So I saw another red kangaroo, and I think it was a male, because it did look red, and it looked pretty big. It kind of hopped up over this hill here. So I'm just going to go for a walk and see if I can see anything. He just hopped behind that tree over there. 
So I just need to sneak around so I can get a clear shot. I haven't seen many red kangaroos in my travels through Australia because they're mostly nocturnal so you don't see them during the day. And when you do see them during the day they're usually always fleeing. So these ones seem pretty used to humans which is good. But now he's just sitting in the shade so the light's not too good. Every time I get close he just and get my composition set he hops away. So I'm just kind of keep stalking him. Hopefully he gets annoyed and just knows I'm not going to hurt him and stays there, or he runs completely away. There you go. Oh, these flies here are terrible. Now for my settings, since it is the middle of the day, I'm able to do a one one thousandth of a second for my shutter speed. Then I'm shooting at uh, the most open aperture I can, so between 5 and then 6.3. And then ISO 400, just so I can maintain that fast shutter speed even as he goes into the shade. So I had to make a quick detour back to the car because my battery died for my video camera. But uh, that's all right, I wasn't too far away. And I am struggling with photographing the kangaroos as well with um, uh, heat distortion because it is pretty hot here. So if I'm too far away, my images aren't gonna be sharp because of the heat waves. So I'm just hiking back uh, into the bush here. And I'm gonna be looking for more uh, kangaroos and emus. Kangaroo Highway tracks here. All right, we got another kangaroo just right up in front of me in that uh, flatland. So I'm gonna try and sneak up on him. I'm seeing heaps of kangaroo scat and tracks around here, but no emu tr scatter tracks yet. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's a few kangaroos over here. Gotta be careful when I kneel down that I'm not gonna kneel into a snake. I'm really starting to have issues with my camera here. My uh, video camera, not my main camera. The lens keeps uh, saying an f-stop of zero, which means the connection to the camera body isn't too good. So a couple times I have to turn it off, take the battery out, take the lens off, then put it back on, and then it works. So I really need to head into a town to get a new lens. But unfortunately, yeah, the next town with the camera shop is like a seven hour drive away, at least where I'm going. But maybe tomorrow I'll be able to make it there.
right, so I'm back at my car. I think I'm going to get in my car and drive up that way because there's a river that way. So uh, maybe I'll be able to see some emus over there by sunset. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get back in the car and go for a quick drive. So got another couple kangaroos here. Yeah, they're just grazing in the grass. They don't seem to be too bothered by me either. So I've got this nice spot here in the shade with a nice view of the open uh, plain in front of me. So I think I'm going to get my chair and then sit until sunset. We got about, I don't know, uh, 45 more minutes until sunset. So yeah, I'm just going to have a sit and hopefully uh, something will pass by. So there was one jumping and I was trying to get a picture as it was going. I think I might have got one but I'm not too sure because it is hard for me to track them with my camera because I just use a AF on back button focus, not autofocus so I have to hold it as I'm tracking them and keep it on the subject and my camera is kind of struggling a little bit just because uh, it is so far away and he's so small and there's all these weeds in the way but I am using a fast enough shutter speed to make it sharp. But unfortunately, still with the heat distortion, it's still a little bit fuzzy. So I just got to wait until they get closer. So that's all for today's video. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to see any emus, but I guess that's all right. I saw heaps of kangaroos, which was pretty good. And yeah, I got to explore this national park a little bit. So I'm just going to actually camp just where I was shooting the kangaroos earlier, just in my car for the night. I'm pretty sure it's free camping, but if it's not, I'm sure someone will knock on my window during the night and let me know. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got some good shots of some red kangaroos today, which is on my list of uh, things to photograph in Australia, so that's good. So hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.